Today I will explain a movie named Papillon. At the start of the movie, we are shown a thief, Papillon. He was an expert in breaking all kinds of locks. He used to go to many palaces and big buildings and steal expensive things from there, and then he used to steal and give it to his boss. One day when he was giving diamonds to his boss, then his boss shows him an injured man, and says that if you ever betray me, then I will do the same to you. But he makes his boss believe that he has ever kept anything from his things with him. Papillon tells him that he has never done this and he will always be honest with his boss. Then later he goes to meet the girl he likes, and shows her a locket. He gives her the locket, he did not give this locket to his boss he has now given the locket to her. But when he is giving the locket to the girl then another man sees him doing this. The man who sees him doing this, was his boss's man, and the next day many people are taking him, for the crime of murder. He is arrested for the murder of that man, whom his boss had shown him yesterday, and his boss had also got him killed by his men. He tells everyone that he was with his friend that night, so how can he kill that man? But no one believes him and he is put in jail. The girl who used to like him comes to the jail to meet him. He tells her that he will have to get out of here but it can take a lot of time. The girl was also very worried and he tells her that, all this is on my fate and life that maybe I can come out of here or not, you think about your life. But the girl did not want to leave him. Here Papillon also makes a friend in jail who tells him that to get out of jail, he should have a lot of money, and if he needs money then a man in jail can give him, his name is Digger. And he has hidden a lot of money in jail, but no one knows where he has hidden it, later when all the prisoners of the jail are being taken to a colony. Then before going there, Papillon goes to the same man Digger, and says that I will protect your life but in return I need money, on which Digger says that I do not need any protection. But at night in front of Digger a man is killed, a man comes and kills another man because of which Digger gets very scared, and the next day Digger goes to Papillon, he tells him that if you protect me until I reach the colony then I will give you money in return, Papillon also becomes happy, and I hope to get out of his heart was awakened. That same killer comes again to kill Digger, but this time Papillon saves Digger's life, and attacks the killer, later Papillon is also punished, but he was happy that he saved Digger's life. Before reaching the colony his friend injures himself, because when he is injured, he will be taken to such a place from where it was easy to escape. There were few guards but what will happen to his friend we will see later, we see that all the prisoners reach the colony where they all had to live, the warden there was very strict, he punishes all of them for running away from there, and for any mischief. Then they are given the task of breaking stones, and in all this, Papillon meets a boatman he deals with him that if you give me a boat then I will give you money, he also agrees, and Papillon tells him that I will come to you to take the boat, on the other hand, another boy also comes to know about Digger's money, and he reaches to attack Digger, but Papillon will come in time to save Digger's life, Digger also understood that when Papillon leaves he may not be able to stay alive for long, so he makes a plan that he will also run away with Papillon, the next day, Papillon's friend who was trying to run away, two guards came in the way and he killed two guards but he was caught, and as a punishment for this, that friend of Papillon head is cut off, Digger and Papillon are given the task of burying their friend's dead body, Digger had never picked up a dead body in his life, and that too the one whose head was cut, he was very scared and was not able to pick it up but the guard was scolding him and forcing him to pick up the dead body, Papillon also gets angry and he starts killing the guard he kills him and runs away, but Digger could not follow him because he was very scared, so scared that he could not run, now Papillon runs and reaches the man with whom he had talked about taking the boat, he was already waiting for him, he asks the boatman for the boat as promised, but he starts laughing and he finds out that he was actually the warden's man and he used to give him money to inform the warden, and guards bring back Papillon to the colony, but he was told that the guard he attacked was not dead, so he will not be killed he will be sent to another jail which will be tougher, this is his punishment but because the guard is not dead he will not be sentenced to death, then we see that as a punishment he is sent to a tough jail, it was a very tight place and food was not given properly, he spends a lot of time on that food it was just a liquid which he did not want to drink, but he was helpless, then one day he is given a coconut and it was written on a page, that from today he will be given a coconut, meaning coconut he understood that Digo is doing all this, and it is given by Digger. Days go by and one day this thing reaches the warden, he kills the guard who used to come to give him a coconut. And then the warden comes and asks him who used to send you a coconut but he does not tell him, the warden beats him a lot but he still does not tell him, then his food is stopped as a punishment. He had become very weak and now he could not even walk, so now he is sent to another place where his condition will be treated. The Pepalone meets his friend Digger who had won the trust of the warden and now he was on a good job, he was very happy to meet him, although his job was good but who does not like freedom he still wanted to run away from the jail, 
and then both of them secretly start making plans to run away, they both also include two other people in their team, and when the movie night happens everyone is watching the movie together, then Digo mixes drugs in the guards and the wardens drink and makes them drink. And also steals their keys, on the other hand, Pepperlone and the other two companions are also waiting for him, when they are about to run away, they open the gate and now they are about to jump from a wall, then the light comes which was gone. But now when Digo had to jump, the light came, the three were watching him, now Digo was very scared he jumps in this fear but his leg breaks, the other companions say leave him here we can't take him with us, the two companions say to leave him here. We can't take him with us anymore, but Papillon does not agree and says that we will take him with us, now they all picked him up and were walking, towards their way they also had a boat, they sit on the boat and with the intention of crossing the sea they get into the sea, in the middle of the sea, there is a fight between the four of them, in which a man who was very selfish is thrown from the boat, he drowns and dies, and then we see that now a storm was going to come in the sea, they were scared, they could not understand anything what to do, then the storm comes, when they opens their eyes they all are in a camp, the camp was set on an island and someone had saved their lives. And then Papillon meets a nun who was taking care of them, one of his friends drowned in the sea and now the three of them were left, Papillon goes to Digger and says we should run away from here, I don't think this place is right for us, but Digger's condition was not good he says, that I am tired of running, I don't want to run anymore, and other friend also thought this place was fine he also didn't want to go anywhere from here, so Papillon decides to run alone from here, when he is running away. He sees the guards coming here, and he knows that the nun has given their news to the warden, who is also with him, and now the guards have come here to catch them. Papillon immediately goes to Digger and tell him we have to run away from here, and when he is going from here with him, the guards have come here to catch them but immediately one of his friend is shot, and his third friend dies. While Papillon and Digger are caught and sent to different jails. Then we are shown the time after five years. Papillon spent five years in jail he was given very harsh punishments and now when he is put in another jail, Digger given even more harsh punishments because he broke the trust of the warden, they met after so many years but they never forgot their friendship, it seems like they never separated one day, when Papillon is looking at the sea he says to Digger, that if we jump from here the waves will take us far away and we can be free forever, Digger say I have spent the last five years very peacefully and I don't think anyone is waiting for me, I am absolutely fine where I am and now I have accepted this for my life, when no one is around Papillon says goodbye to his friend and throws a raft in the sea and then jumps on it, he was lucky that his plan worked. While Dagger is smiling at him, in the end scene we see that Papillon lives in Venezuela, and he wants to publish a book on the years he spent in jail. His punishment was forgiven, and it has been many years he had come out of jail but still he didn't forget his friend. Movie ends here, I hope you liked this movie, subscribe to our channel for more videos, meet you in next video till then take care.